Okay. So my next story. All right. So a group of kids decide to go camping. They're 18 years old. They want to drink. They want to party. So they're like, all right, we're, we got to go way remote so we don't get in trouble. So they go down to the Apalachicola National Forest near Tallahassee, Florida. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Florida. I won't be able to pronounce that either. <laughs> yeah. Don't care. I butchered it. Who cares? <laughs> Moving on. So they drive seven hours to this national forest. Then when Really they, trying to get away. Then when they get there, they continue to drive as deep as they can, like away from the main roads. Uh huh. They get there. They're 18 years old. They're yeah. hanging out. They're drinking Natty Lights. <laughs> they're just being all around sick and dope. <laughs> and two of them were like, I'm bored with this. We're going to go exploring. So on foot, they head out. They're walking down this dirt road that they're on, and they see like an even less traveled path. So they take that. Several hundred yards down that path, they start seeing signs of someone living there. There's large bags of trash. There's, I don't know, this or that, right? And they come around a bend, and they see a van, a dog, which they said was a very good-looking golden retriever, and a man outside his van, like, hanging clothes on a line. And they think, F, don't want to deal with this dude. So they start to turn around, but before they can leave, hey, how you, do, how you guys doing? Man calls out. So they're like, hey, how, how you doing? And he's very cheerful. He comes up to them, and they just start chatting. They chat for about 10 minutes, and he, he finds out, where are you guys from? They tell him where they're from. He says, oh, there's a national park right near you. I love that park. They start talking about national parks. He says, how long are you guys going to be here? And they tell him, and he says, you, sh- you should check this out. You should check that out. He starts naming all these cool things, right? Like, all right, it's a pleasant enough conversation. The only weird thing about it was he noticed every direction he gave him, instead of saying like feet or miles, he would give him directions in steps. So he'd be like, oh, that's about 60 steps that way, 400 <laughs> steps this way, which he thought that was just weird. Kind of stuck with them. That is weird. <laughs> just so the, like a, a hundred thousand British pounds for a prize. Yeah. <laughs> How much is that, dude? I don't know. Oh, like eight hundred freedom bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea. <laughs> anyway, so they're like, all right, like whatever. Nothing really sticks out to them. They don't have a really weird feeling. They go back, they party, and they leave. Two months later, homeboy is sleeping. And he gets a call from his friend. He says, bro, you need to turn on the news right now. And in his writing of the story, he's like, you already know this, where this is going. But at the time, I didn't. So because to him, these two things are unrelated. So he's like, okay. Turns right. on the news. He sees a van and a man. And he's like watching the news. He doesn't get it. He's like pissed at his friend for talk or waking him up. <laughs> And then he said, he stopped talking to me, bro. He saw the golden retriever. And for some reason, that part, everything clicks in his brain. His hair stands on end and he's attentive and alert listening to this news story. And this man has recently been arrested and he's the convicted serial killer, Gary Michael Hilton. The original Florida man. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So this man killed at least four people that they convicted him for all over. So in like North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, or something like that. And the last person that he killed was at that campsite like less than a week later Hmm. after they were there. Oh, damn. So him and his friend say, what do we do? They call the cops who get in touch with the FBI who have both of them flown down to show exactly where they were and what he had told them. So they do that. Wait, so he hasn't been caught yet? No, he's caught, convicted. Why do they want to question them then? Just to get more info, all the info, all the evidence to make sure that they can convict them for everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see you. Apologies. They show them, they come back, they end up finding fragments of fingers near the places where they had (sighs) shown him. So they have them re-flown out, and they had to testify against this dude. So pretty scary. Some of the comments were like, or one of the comments that stood out to me was, I bet he didn't try anything with you guys because you were two males who he knew he couldn't overpower. 
but could you imagine if you were just like one dude or even worse like one single female you know right he could have been one of was his that victims. his mo like one single female yeah. or just one single person it was females okay yeah that yeah no that's terrifying still Ooh. i was just going off the theme of you never know who you run into or anything like that but yeah we have a couple stories with the same kind of scenario just where close calls and then they see it on tv yeah yeah hmm. that would be creepy that would be a really surreal feeling <laughs> Because like a lot of our stories, you don't get your answers, you know. But these ones, it's like you get your answers more than you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that's cringy at that point. Yeah, thinking like I was just there. Yeah, kind of like uh, when the the Notre Dame Chapel burned down. Oh right! It's like man, I was just there visiting. <laughs> I don't know. You dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know how everybody made it about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so sad for me. <laughs> and my memory of it yeah <laughs> oh i'm just kidding apparently it's like backing up it's back up and people are going through it again oh, they good better they got more that's what i've heard but for that than all of australia <laughs> oh gosh it's crazy how news like stories overwrite other stories yeah like it wasn't too long ago that jeffrey epstein was who the, Who's yeah, that? Exactly. <laughs> was the talk of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> After that, it was Australia, or no, even before that was yeah. the Amazon, and then Australia, and then now it's... Well, they say we have like a 24-hour news cycle, and now it's like our news cycle, you know? Mm -hmm. Another story just erases the one before. I don't know. I think in some circumstances people try to use that to their advantage for sure 100%. like the jeffrey epstein one like the sick people the few who are pushing his agenda were just trying to with their wealth and power buy time and they knew that over time there's gonna be another thing yep to distract it's everyone gotta wait. And, yeah yeah it's true never forget always remember 